Right, thanks, Court. Time for your Daily Joe. We'll find stories we find buzzing around the internet uh, this morning. We always love coming up with interesting things that we see out there today. All right, we're starting off with this. You know, dads have um, funny senses of humor. I don't know. Does your dad have a funny sense of humor? Oh yeah, mine does. Yeah, <laughs> mine definitely does. <laughs> uh, the, we came across this uh, online. Uh, you know, when being a teen is tough, but you know, if your parents are there for you, it's pretty good. But uh, this guy has a 13-year-old son. And he says he knows how to cheer him up when he's upset. And he wrote this sweet, understanding message as a dad joke. He says, you're upset, and rightly so. 13 can be a hard time, I know. You can't cuss at me, but you can say I'm mad. And I'll try not to say, mad, nice to meet you. I'm dad. Uh, I'm mad. Oh, you are? Nice right. to meet you, mad. Oh, nice I'm dad. dad. Right. Which would just infuriate a 13-year-old. <laughs> Drive me insane. Even I used to tell my dad, I'm hungry. He'd be like, oh, nice to meet you, hungry. Did your dad say that? I'd be like, <laughs> totally says that to Natalia already. <laughs> Dad, I'm not hungry. Oh, so you're not hungry then? So then, okay, then I won't give you a snack. Right. But I'm hungry. It oh, just works against you. you the whole time. You can't, you can't win. You can't win. Once you've gone down that road, you can't win. <laughs> It's good that he does that, though. It's the job of parents to annoy their children. Yes. I'm convinced of this. I think it is. Right? I love it. That's a pretty good one, Dad. I found that on Reddit. Uh, that, if you want to read it again, uh, Reddit, it's a Reddit user is a downtown crown frown. It's the Reddit user's name, if you want to find that again. All right, number two. For you now, uh, cats, dogs, you all have pets. Do you have a bear? Probably not. Whoa. Anyone, if you do, Whoa. call us, because we want to come over. Right? I know, right? But this is a, a domesticated bear who Get lives with here. his humans. No, it's for real. He lives with his humans in Moscow, Russia. Get they, out of here. Yeah, look. They say they adopted him. cuddling. They what? adopted him. They named him Stepan when he was just a three-month-old orphan cub. He was found by hunters in a forest all alone in very bad condition. So this uh, couple decided to take him home. He's grown into a loving bear. They say he helps around the house, uh, watering plants, loves to watch TV there. You saw that. Loves to have stories read to him and stuff. I just knew this was Photoshop. He's very, I I'm feeling like it is, but, you know, I'm sure our producer has done the research, too. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> on this, uh, on this case. Here's what he eats every day. 55 pounds of fish, vegetables, and eggs, oh, but he manages to stay in shape. Apparently, he loves to play football. Uh, loves to throw the ball and go get it and bring it, bring it on back to you. Uh, oh he does a little God. acting and posing for photo shoots on the side as well. They say they've never been bitten, they've never been attacked by the bear. Oh, this is my husband's <laughs> dream, by the way, is to cuddle what? with a great big bear like really? that. Really? So Holy I hope cow. he's not watching at this hour because this is not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last but not least, let me show you this. Uh, most little girls, they love kittens or puppies or oh, ponies, but how about a rhino? Yeah, this is uh, the Old Pejeta Conservancy, a 90,000 acre not for profit wildlife sanctuary in central Kenya. Kids get a chance to meet Ringo the rhino. They can uh, get up close and personal with him, they can learn about wildlife uh, and uh, conservation there. Huh. So, How local kids get to just drop Why? by and hang out with a little baby rhinoceros. Hi, friend. Wow. She's just walking along just fine. <laughs> He's so darling. Isn't that cute? I mean, so I guess. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, at least not a big animal person. No, she you know, doesn't really do the Between the bear and the rhino, I don't know. I think I might choose the rhino. A little less aggressive. Though. I mean, Craig Ashton has a pet pig. I mean, so. Well, there's your daily job. Yeah, That's just... what